Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 54. So yesterday we started the process of creating a paid social ad on Facebook using campaigns, and today we're going to finish that out. So we're going to go into the campaigns applet using the megaphone icon here. And we're going to go through that process real briefly of creating a campaign. We're going to choose social ad. We're going to name our campaign. We're going to choose a goal and select which of the three channels we want it to run on. Remember, you can run on one, two, or all three. From there, we're going to come in and actually choose our listing. I'm going to skip that because we did that yesterday. We would write in our copy, our headline, and our description, and we would choose our media. And we did all of that yesterday in part one. Today we're going to look at Facebook settings and leave settings, so the part two of this video. So when we come into Facebook settings and click on configure, you're going to see several different options. The first, I need to go ahead and connect my Facebook business page. So if I haven't already done this in settings, I need to do that as a prerequisite of running this ad. But you do have the ability to select more than one Facebook business page when you run, the, or excuse me, when you connect to command. So in this step, I'm choosing which of my business pages I want to run the ad on. Once I've selected that page, I have a destination decision, whether it's the Facebook lead generation form or direct to site or landing page. The difference here, inside Facebook lead generation form, this is where I'm actually capturing the information for the consumer that wants to deliver it to me. So when you see an ad on Facebook and you click on it, one of two things typically happen. Most often you get a pop-up that says, do you want to submit the following information to, and then whatever the page name is. So Summit Property Group Houston at Keller Williams Premier. And the consumer would say yes or no. On the screen in that pop-up box will be their Facebook username, their Facebook email address, and then the phone number if it's already associated with their account. If not, it'll prompt them to put their phone number in. So they'll choose whether they want to submit that information or not. If they do submit that information, then you capture the lead. That information comes into command. If they do not choose to submit that information, they go right back to Facebook. They don't end up going to the landing page that you're recommending they visit. If you use site or landing page, they do not have to submit their information to go to your landing page. In fact, they'll be taken there directly. So that's the difference between these two, whether or not they go directly to your landing page or whether they have to submit their information. If you're running these Facebook ads to create leads, highly recommended, as you can see on the screen, to use the Facebook lead generation form. Next, we've got a button label. You can see that button here on the right-hand side. I can decide whether that says learn more, sign up, or apply now. So those are my three options for this button label. I'd say probably 99% of the time you're going to use that learn more button. And then finally, you have the website URL or landing page you want them to visit after they have submitted their information. So for example, if this is a uh, listing ad, you would want to direct them to either a custom landing page that you've created. We'll do that later on in the challenge or actually just the website from your actual site. So I'd recommend, right? So if we go to martymiller.kw.com and we're just going to pick any listing here uh, in Katy and I'm going to show you, right? So let's say we were doing an ad on this property, right? 5339 Sunny Ray Drive. We would send them to this page. This would be that page that we sent them to. Like I said, we also have the ability to create a custom landing page, and we'll do that later on in the challenge. So those are your two options. Finally, you have the ability to create your audience. By default, it will choose either your location or the location of the listing that you select, right? We didn't select the listing, and so right now it's just defaulting to my home location and 20 miles. I do have the ability to use custom settings, where I can choose to target a custom audience, right? Any city in the US, and I can go anywhere from 15 to 50 miles around that city center. I also have the ability to target my database if I choose so, and I can create an audience 
using tags or neighborhoods. And that's basically going to scan my contacts that are included in this list for email addresses on their contact record that are also the login email addresses for their Facebook account. So then I could target my actual database. Finally, I have the ability to do some expert targeting where I start including interest groups. Now just be aware that this obviously makes your target group much smaller and yet it can also make it more specialized as well. So you can come through here and look at all those different interest groups. That's essentially the Facebook settings. And actually to keep this video a little shorter, I'm gonna go into lead settings and then your ad home screen tomorrow. So that's it for today. Today is basically part two where we focused on Facebook settings. We're gonna go ahead and do a part three where we get into lead settings and your uh, ad home screen. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.